Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Country Bentalix Part 2 video. You may have already watched uh, Part 1, but you don't necessarily need to. There's a couple of scale shapes in there that you might need to know, but I think this will work well as a standalone video too. These licks are probably a wee bit more complicated than the other ones, but they still shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. As usual, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you like the sort of stuff I post. Enough chit chat, let's get stuck into the video. Right, so we've moved a little bit farther up the fretboard this time. Still dealing with the major pentatonic. If you remember from before, when we played this down here, we got an E, an F sharp, and an A, which was the fifth, the sixth, and the root of our major pentatonic. This is just the exact same notes up here. E, F sharp, A. Bent with slightly different fingers this time, so we're still doing the same little hammer on intro. Bending with first and second, 12 to 14 on the B strings. So we're holding it there as well. Playing an F sharp note at the 14th fret on the E string. Repeating the pick, repeating the note, sorry, on the B string, still held. Changing to an E note with our third finger on the high E. Note still bent, still held there. Now we're going to pluck it and then release and finish on the A again. Now when we repeat that note we have uh, bent, it's more of a mute to kind of give us that chicken picking sound. So you can see just by changing a couple of notes we can get a lot more mileage out of a very similar lick. So on the previous lick the notes we had on the high E were 14 and 12 which were F sharp and E which was the 6th and the 5th. This time we're using the 5th and the 4th notes of the A major pentatonic this time. that one I think to my ears is really country sound. Bending with her second and third finger here as well. Now this will probably be quite challenging to begin with because you're trying to hold this note bent while changing fingers. Pinky finger, first finger, pinky finger, first finger. And that's, that's really difficult to do and even after recording all the licks before this, I can see how out of practice I am. Like, my fingertips are on fire right now. Okay, so back to our first position that we used earlier. Starting it off with the same E to F sharp hammer on, if you remember our uh, notes that were the fifth, and then the sixth, and then A was the second fret G, and that's our root note. This time I did a slide from four to six in the G string, which is a B C sharp. Now this time I'm holding the A note, 5th fret high E string, but bending the B string from 5 to 7, which gives us a bend from E to F sharp, which is our 5 to 6. And then I re-pick them with my pick and middle finger, and released it back, so that's got a nice kind of resolution to it. So 
So this lick is exactly the same notes as the previous one, but I'm doing it in a higher position on the fretboard. So still starting off with that E to F sharp hammer on. Except this time it's on 7 and 9 on the A string. I still remember that's our 5th. Hammer on to the 6th. That's our intervals, not our frets. You can see the frets I'm using 7 and 9. Root note A, 7th fret D string. Sliding from 9 to 11. On the D string which is our B, C sharp movement. The bend this time happens on the 9th fret G string bending to the 11. Which is bending from E to F which is our 5th to 6th movement. Plucking the B string this time with my middle finger, 10th fret, and that was our A note. So it gives us that nice resolution, just like before. Okay, so this is a fun one. C sharp note up here on the 9th fret E string. That's our major third. It's got a pre-bend this time, so we haven't done pre-bends yet. So pre-bend, I'm sure you already know. It's having a note already pre-bent so that when you pick it, you hear the release of it rather than the, but we only hear the and that gives us that flat seven note. I'm pre-bending that note up to an A and then releasing down to a G, which if you remember from earlier, that G note is our flat seven note. So we're kind of thinking in the minor pentatonic when we think about that note, but we've got that C sharp on top, so it's kind of what they would call mixolydian or dominant kind of sound. Next we've got a similar bend to what we had near the start, pre-bending the 7 to the 9 on the G string, third finger plays 8, which is still, so that's still the flat 7 note, but then I'm going to be releasing from the 5th to the 4th. Moving that same technique down, so it's the same kind of pattern of notes, third finger plays the E on the B string this time, which is our 5th. Pre-bending the 4 to the 6, which is a C sharp, um, releasing down to a B. That was a bit high this time. That's better. And then finishing on an A root note down here at the 2nd fret. So we have... Next lick uses a similar technique when it comes to pre-benting. Slightly different intervals this time. Starting away up here on the 17th fret, which is an E note. I just remember when you get to the 12th fret, it just starts repeating all the notes along the way. So this 12th, or the, sorry, this 17th fret, I really view that the same as I would view this E note, fifth fret down here. So pre-bend 16 to 18, which is going to be our C sharp note, releasing down to a B again, if you remember we had that down there a second ago. A slightly different one this time, I'm holding the C sharp with my third finger on the 14th fret B string, pre-bending the G string, 14 up to 16, which is a B down to an A, which is a nice one. Move that whole shape down two frets and then hold the 12th fret. B note on the B string and I pre-bend from 12 to 14 on the G string. Now this gives it what, what I would call a kind of dominant ninth sound because that B note is the second note of a, the A scale. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A would be eight notes. 
we repeat to B, which gives us our ninth note, and that's why we call that the ninth. Then we're back, we've used this one already. This is kind of resolution on the A chord. This is where I was holding the A note on the B string 10th fret and bending from an E to an F sharp on the G string. Which if you remember was the fifth bending to the sixth. So it bends up and releases back down. So I'm plucking twice there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, my fingers are completely uh, on fire right now, so I think that'll do me for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Catch you later.